This document is a mess. I don't mean how it looks, I mean how it's constructed. Let's look at the Paragraph Styles panel, and we can see immediately there are no styles in here. I'll switch to the Type tool, select some text, and we can see that this text down here is Basic Paragraph with a plus sign. That means there's local formatting on top of the Basic Paragraph. I'll select this, uh, this heading up here, and we can see that there's no Paragraph Style at all. That's just completely nothing. So what's going on there? How do we fix this? How do we apply Paragraph Styles throughout the entire document? Well, it's painful unless you have Blattner Tools. And Blattner Tools makes it easy. Let me show you how. Here in the Paragraph Styles panel, I'll go to the Flyout menu, and down at the bottom of the menu, I'll choose Create All Paragraph Styles. I simply select that, and it will go through the entire document, analyze every paragraph, see what it looks like, and build a paragraph style for me. And it even applies that style to the paragraph. So for example, the cursor is in this heading right now, and it made a paragraph style for me, and it, uh, and it applied it for me. Now, I admit that it doesn't know what to name the, uh, the paragraph style. It's a little bit clunky here, but that's not a big deal. To fix that, we simply double click on it and give it a name. I'll just call it uh, subhead. Click enter, and now it's named. This I'll click down here in this, uh, this subhead. We can see that it was applied there, it was applied here, and so on. Let's do the same thing with this paragraph down here, this body text. It gave it a strange name, not a big deal. Double click on it, say body text, enter, and now I've got body text throughout the entire document. So you see that it's very, very simple to create paragraph styles for an entire document, if, uh, even if no styles were created uh, for you. Now, what about character? styles. Let me zoom in here to this uh, paragraph here and we can see that some of this text is in italic and I've got italic up here and throughout the whole document some text is in italic but if I look in the character styles panel you'll see that there's no character styles created for this document. That's a problem. We want to use character styles whenever we apply local formatting. It makes it much easier to format and, and change formatting later. So what do we do? I'll simply go up to the Character Styles Flyout menu, go down to the bottom, and we can see we have several different new options here from Blattner Tools. Uh, we've got Create All Character Styles, and that will actually go through and make a new character style for any kind of local formatting throughout the whole document. You know, if some text is red, it'll make a character style for red text and so on. But usually, uh, in this case, we just want to make a character style for, let's say, the italic, the, the basic formatting, bold, italic, underline, that kind of thing. So I'm going to use the Create Basic Character Styles option. I'll uh, select that, and you can see that it went through and created three styles for me, bold, italic, and underline, and it applied those styles wherever it found that formatting. So up here, that is italic text, so it applied the italic formatting for me. Very fast, very easy. As you can see, using Blattner Tools can really speed up your work. Blattner Tools from DTPTools.com. Making InDesign even better.